What's good, campers? Is I'm Ian. I'm Jack. And uh, here at Clearwater Forest, we often play a game called Ultimate Frisbee. So today we're just going to show you um, how to throw and how to catch and get better for next year. Oh, um, this is a disc, this is a top, this is a bottom. The ridges here, that's called the flight rings, that's where you grip. And right underneath is the rim, which is also where you grip. So the most common throw in ultimate is the backhand. So the backhand, you want to put the disc in your dominant hand. You want your thumb on the flight rings here. And all four fingers underneath the rim like this, gripping it pretty hard. If, if you're struggling with that, um, you can put your index finger right here, which also works. And you're just wanna, gonna wanna, and you, you also wanna use your non-dominant foot. Uh, so that, um, the other common throw in ultimate is the forehand, which you put where you throw from the side of your body that your arm is. So you want your thumb also on the flight rings, and then you want just two fingers here and two here and gripping pretty hard. So it's kind of locked in. And then this one is all about the wrist. So you, you might want to just practice just flicking your wrist like that. You just want to step out like this and then just. And a big part of throwing is also just your hips. So you want your non-dominant foot to be like attached to the ground and you pull your dominant foot across which is where you get momentum from then you just use flick of the wrist and look at where you're aiming and don't keep your eyes off of what you're aiming so. just remember with backhand you just grip it like this or like this and you step out across your body and make the throw and then with a the flick same thing except two fingers underneath step out flick of the wrist and a big part of throwing is also just your hips. So you want your non-dominant foot to be like attached to the ground and you pull your dominant foot across, which is where you get momentum from. Then you just use flick of the wrist and look at where you're aiming and don't keep your eyes off of what you're aiming. 